Hi, busy bees. Uh, welcome to my channel, Riale Eyes. Uh, today, we will explore on a topic on how I successfully applied to a few of the MBA schools without using any consultancy. What is the website that I've used to apply to several colleges, tips and tricks, and how to use that website to the best so that uh, you select the right college uh, while you're applying for uh, masters in USA. So without any delays, let's just dive into the video. US News and Rankings is one of the fantastic resources for uh, finding the perfect school. They offer like a lot of filters. So if you select business analytics, all the schools will be like filtered based on the concentration that you have selected. You could see that uh, NYU, Georgia Tech, Columbia are kind of like ranked among one of the best schools after MIT. I used this website to discover the perfect business school that I wanted based on my essential attributes like rank, reputation, affordability, and cost. You can click on add to compare and compare with other universities based on the tuition fees and also you can check their ratings and the rankings. Also, you can save those schools uh, to your website. So there are a lot of things that you can do from this website. University of Texas, Austin, its tuition fees is like uh, 56000 per year. And Kelly, this is the one which I've applied to, which costs almost like 54000 per year. I couldn't afford these schools, so I went further down to check the, like, the right balance with the tuition fees and also the rankings. So as you can see, this is one of the best colleges that I've ever seen, University of Georgia, Terry. It's... Tuition fees is decent and it's ranked at uh, 27th, which is really, really great. But uh, Terry is like highly competitive. Uh, click on the website and uh, you'll be navigated to their uh, school website. And so there you can find all the details, uh, the requirements, etc. If you go further down, the next most decent school that I've found is University of Florida, Warrington. And if you go further down, uh, the University of Texas at Dallas. So this is also a good college with a good cost and a good ranking. Now I am kind of adding the universities that I would want to compare with. So I've selected uh, Terry and University at Dallas. Now I'm selecting University of Utah. So all these schools, uh, I can just compare and see which one fits to my needs. And also I looked for STEM accreditation, on-campus resources, and uh, post-MBA job prospects. This is kind of old school, but you can still select filters in the left navigation. Uh, you can select the tuition fees based on the affordability. And also you can check the enrollment rate, acceptance rate, and all are uh, locked because for that you have to pay some fees. So, and now I'm like adding uh, and comparing the schools. So the next university that I have applied is Iowa State University. This is also a pretty good university with respect to the rankings and cost. Now we have like pretty good pool of universities in our list. Let's just click on compare schools and see uh, what we have. Uh, to compare the schools, actually, you need to log in. Uh, but once you log in, you will be able to use it for free. You can see uh, how we are comparing different different universities between Stanford, University of Florida. You can see their cost, tuition fees, uh, what are the ratings and rankings for uh, University of Georgia, Terry. Brigham Young University doesn't have a lot of information in here. It doesn't have what is the in-state fees, what is the out-of-state fee. Generally, uh, they are provided by uh, universities because in-state is for the people who are U.S. citizens and who lived in the state for more than two years. Out-of-state is uh, for somebody like us or someone who's living in a different state. If you go further down, you can see the enrollment, average base salary after you graduate and check the application fee. It's different for different schools. You can see the number of applicants, acceptance rate. So you can find all the necessary information that you need uh, to apply to the college. And also you can check on the average age of new 
entrance into the college and average work experience that they possess. Few of the schools accept a GRE score like this one, uh, University of Utah and a uh, few other schools have GMAT as a requirement so if you don't find that information in this particular website please do visit uh, the college website so that uh, you have all the right information with you so this one use it uh, solely to compare the schools that you wanted to go based on ranking cost and the departments and concentrations other like uh, other information you can find in their uh, school website so I will add this particular link below in the description. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you all liked it. Uh, if you really like this particular video, please like, share and subscribe.